Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to learn how to add a chatbot to your community or digital experience. But before getting started, if you like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So in the previous video, we have built this website for this beauty saloon using communities in Salesforce. But let's say customer has done some kind of uh, service from them, let's say nail art or let's say waxing or something like that and they are facing some kind of issue and they are not able to come to this saloon shop or the beauty saloon shop so what is the way that customer will be able to easily communicate with the business so one of the ways they can directly call but if you consider it this way that owner is it's a it's a small shop right so owner is not going to uh, talk to you a lot right so he is going to able to serve only one customer at a time so we have to add a way so that any customer could come and easily chat with the custom uh, chat with the business owner or the agent representative who has done their services so for that we are going to add a chat service so what happens is uh, if uh, if i click on this i will be able to directly chat to the person now to do that there are a few steps that i'm going to follow in this video so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the service setup So I have service setup available inside the service setup. I'm going to click on the view all and add chat with the customers. Now inside this chat with the customer, I'm going to create a queue. So basically queue is nothing but the, if you have watched my previous videos, queue is nothing but the group of people who are ready to serve for a particular object case, or it can be a, a, a lead or something like that. Okay. So I'm going to create a queue. Let's say customer support chat. And I'm going to copy paste the same thing over here. And inside this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add for Salesforce five minutes and Raju Srivastava, these two users as the part of this queue. Let's click on next. Each work item would be of size five means each work. Uh, let's say there are uh, if, if let's say there is one chat and the, the size of the chat, the, uh, the size of the chat will be considered as a five because each work item will be considered as a uh, considered as a uh, capacity of uh, we can say each work item will be having the value of five okay and each agent can only take five capacity so it can only serve four customer at a time okay next now website url on which website url do i need to host this particular chat right so for that purpose i need this url you can also find it within all sites itself if you go to the all sites you can find the url over here i'm going to paste this url now we don't need the uh, path or the queries as you can see it contains path it should not have paths right so i'm remove the backslash and keeping the main url itself let's click on next now for this for what type you are building this chat right uh, so i have service right so we are going to serve the customer using this chat so i'm selecting service that's next and this is the source code available uh, to include your include the chat inside your website so let's click on next and done now this is done okay what i need to do is i need to add the chatbot over here okay but before that i need to do some back end settings so i'm going to configure the chat settings understand content okay so this is the chat endpoint URL, uh, which you have to embed or we have to at least uh, keep it secure. Like we have to make the make it secure for our website. Okay. Rather than going anywhere like uh, this, I mean, need to just go for the chat agent configuration because uh, we have to configure all the things from the agent side. We have done, we have built the chatbot, but we have to configure the things from the agent side. Let's click on new. So let's name our chat on configuration as agent configs developer name will be automatically populated sneak peek enable with the help of this uh, if you go over this that this option lets agents see what visitor typing before they send the message so even before the sending them even before they are sending the message you can uh, find out what they are actually typing so that you can take the following steps the agent can take the following steps play, play a notification sound for the chat request this is self-explanatory and everything is self-explanatory almost there. okay so now let's move to the 
assign this uh, particular chat to this particular uh, to this particular user or to the particular profile so i am going to assign this chat or the part of this overall chat will be raju srivastava and salesforce in 5 minutes both of them can accept the work and get started with it okay let's say these are the people who have who actually provide the services or talk with the customers uh, so that they can serve the customers and tell the particular uh, person working in the saloon that they have made this mistake next time they should not do it or how to fix that issues okay so i'm going to just enable all of this right now and let's click on save okay so i think so our chat uh, configuration is done next thing what i need to do is i need to embed the chat inside my site so let's go to all sites again okay now we are on the all sites so we are building on introductory website so i'm going to click on the workspaces one more thing i haven't added the button inside the chat agent configuration so i have to add the customer support chat that we have added uh, we have just created the queue we have to add that particular button inside the selected chat button okay once you have done it you can save it okay now we are inside the workspace i need to go to the builder now inside the builder what i want is that the chat should be available at the footer okay so i am going to add the chat inside the footer so for that purpose just go to the components over here search embedded service chat and paste it or add it to the footer now once your chat has been added to the footer it's showing the chat deployment so you can have multiple chats out of which just copy paste this website we have to give the access to this website particular website so i'm going to just copy paste this url for now or just this part let's click on okay and okay so next what i need to do is i need to deploy the chat what kind of support chat uh, what kind of chat do i need to deploy there can be multiple right now i have just one so that's why i'm selecting customer support chat that chat that i have recently created okay now once this is done next thing is that you have to go if you would have checked the previous messages that we were seeing we need to give access to this websites or access to this particular url so that user could user the chat should be enabled so for that purpose just go to the settings and inside the settings you can go to the security and privacy and relaxed the csp permit access to the inline scripts and allowed the host allow the host now once you have done this you have to add this urls to your trusted site so if you see there are a few errors csp errors showing showing that this following websites are been blocked okay so you have to allow this url uh, in order to enable your ag agent uh, chat so either you can allow the url from here itself or else you can add your chat url over here chat url once this is done click on add sites and now our chatbot should be enabled so if i go to this my home page of actual website it's showing agent offline so agent is not available at all now to make the agent available what you can do is you can just go to the service console and enable your omni channel because omni channel is not available no one is available at the salesforce ends that's why it's showing agent offline so as soon as you make an agent available from the omni channel level automatically the ch agent will be or chat with an agent uh, button will appear so i'm going to make myself available over here as soon as i make myself available let's see okay chat with an expert option is coming now if I, I i can click on this and i can test i can start chatting with the end user so 
so if you go to the website or the salesforce org you can see we have one request or one chat coming up you can accept it and we can start chatting with the customer he can say like uh, i have issue with nail art and automatically you will see the chat over here i have issue with the nail art okay what's the issue so you can talk to them get their issue resolved so you can see they are also getting the sms messages over here okay what's the issue so that's how it seamlessly transfers the messages from one end to another so this is how you configure the web chat inside the community communities and this is how you can use the actual web chat web chat inside the communities or digital experience if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel